What up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Del from Inky Quill, and I have your bonus Grab 5 video, which is very late this week than when I said it was going to be. Um, so this follows on from my most recent 12x12 Grab 5, which I'll put the link down below. And the Grab 5 items, let's see if I can remember them. They were all from my Scrappery haul, um, which if you look in my recent videos, it's there. So I picked the crepe paper confetti embellished pockets, that thing. I picked the Jen Hadfield, I think it's Cottage Living paper pad. Is it Cottage Living or is that her old one? Anyway, the new Jen Hadfield 6x6 paper pad. The uh, Echo Park Jack and Jill enamel dots. The Dear Lizzie fabric bows and the crepe paper journey ephemera pack so what i've done to start off with is i want to do a bit of a grid layout for something a bit different so i cut a whole heap of these jen hadfield um, papers into very rough very rough squares so i really just did them the width of the bottom of that pocket and a little bit of tissue paper and i think i had a bit of vellum in there too and all I'm going to do now is just cut them and stack them on top of each other until I think they look pretty. <laughs> um, there's no real rhyme or reason. I'm just cutting and sticking because that's what I like to do best. So this photo, I wanted to choose this photo to do a bonus grab five because it's actually a journey related um, photo, whereas the past photo that I did with the journey ephemera was a photo of my dad and his dog which is not very journey-ish um so this is a photo of aaron in the car and i'm just layering these papers some of them might have three papers some might just have two and all i'm doing is just trying to mix up the patterns a little bit so you know not having dots on dots that type of thing i bet i do that now that i've i've jinxed myself now um, I decided to tear that bit of paper because I could. <laughs> um, like I said, there's no real, no real process, procedure, technical procedure to this. Uh, I really, really like that bottom, hello, hello, hello. Oh no, is it love? Love, 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 love paper. The black and the white script, which I just completely covered up. Um, I really like that paper. It's very pretty. So I stuck all of my papers down off screen just with my tape runner and I'm putting my photo on a bit of foam tape just to give it a bit of a bit of um, pizzazz and make it stand up a little bit. And now I'm grabbing that floral bow. It's a fabric um, Dear Lizzie bow and it's kind of got a blue and aqua floral print on it. And I'm just going to go through the journey ephemera. And honestly, we don't really journey anywhere except for like the local shopping center. So I decided to try and use as many of the, you know, the highway, freeway related, um, related ephemera pieces. And I really wanted to use that adventure diamond, but the only place to really fit it was on that square where I've put it there. And it was already vellum and it's vellum on vellum and I just thought it looked a bit funny. That little one said my way or the high, my way up the top and then the highway down the bottom. So I just cut it off to the highway and I'm just sticking them all around. I really love, have I told you how much I love the crepe paper embellishment packs? There is so much stuff in there. If you're new to scrapbooking, I'm not at all affiliated with crepe paper wish I was in a girl's dream but honestly I can't reckon them reckon recommend yeah I can't recommend them I can't recommend their embellishment packs enough you just get so much compared to I've had other embellishment packs where you get like 20 die cuts and some of them are repeats with these ones you just get heaps and heaps and like I've shown you in this spread and the other one even though some of them are theme specific, um, you can still use them on, you know, your normal everyday layout. I just got the poolside um, collection. I haven't opened it yet. I'm excited to though. 
Um, and right now it's, it's freaking winter. It's really freaking winter. And even though, okay, story time, we had our athletics carnival at school last Friday and it was winter, right? And it was a rainy day. Like we thought it was going to rain all day. The sun was not out. And I uh, guess who got sunburnt? Yep, that's me. So if there's any sunburn ephemera in that poolside um, collection, I probably can use it during winter time. But the rest of the poolside things I might save up for summer and just use the kind of generic -y, you know, if there's any arrows or cameras or that kind of thing. Um, yeah, who gets sunburnt in winter? A redhead. So I'm just sticking on. I do end up using that adventure. Oh, I layered things behind it. That's why I used it. And I really like that cute little car. I wish it was facing the other way though, because we were driving the other way, but the arrow kind of compensates for for that. That's what I think anyway. <laughs> um, so this was just a really easy, fun layout. And because it had that really structured grid formation, I didn't really need to put that much thought into which embellishments went where, because it was kind of scattered and, you know, a bit random. So I'm just adding some enamel dots and I wanted to only use, I think I only used the aqua, greeny aqua. Um, and I leave, the yellow was too bright. The pink was too pink. There wasn't really any other pink on the layout. So I think I get some from my stash. I do. So a few little blue ones and some black as well. Gosh, I love enamel dots. I can never have enough enamel dots. I've got quite a few packets that are just down to like either too big enamel dots. I struggle with big ones or too yucky colors. Um, I might try and do a layout where I challenge myself to use up those packets. I know I've still got fluoro green. Um, I've got a sheet of this really dirty purple as well. And I think there's a sheet of brown. We'll see what I can do with those. So I just used a tag from my stash to write Bathurst in um, alphabet stickers. And on this layout, I'm actually using the pocket as a pocket. Fancy that. And I used a craft tag because there was a little bit of craft somewhere else on the layout. And that's it done. This was a really speedy layout. I think this one only took me about 20 minutes as well. Poppet, what are you doing? Aaron, you might want to watch Poppet. She's, look, she's looking like she wants to hop on my desk and mummy has her wedding scrapbook open up there. Oh, she's looking, she's doing it. She's about to hop up there. Anyway, that's my layout done skis. So I'm sorry there was no Wednesday Project Life Grab 5 um, this week. I've been a bit MIA. I've had migraines again and a few other things happening. So um, I haven't been around a lot. So I just had to use the videos that I had. And I did film, I filmed two freaking Grab 5 Project Life on the weekend and of course my camera deleted them so I didn't get a chance to film another one um, but to make up for it this weekend I will have at least one possibly two Project Life Grab Fives out there for you so I'm just putting a bit of my Heidi Shine my Heidi Swap Color Shine I feel like I need to say it because some people might not have watched my <laughs> recent videos but a bit of Heidi Shine always makes things a bit shinier and hidier um, so that's it done I really enjoyed this layout. I really like, oh, I forgot to tell you. The journaling is um, our most recently played songs in our playlist because Aaron and I have a real thing about making a car playlist when we go away anywhere. And this was no exception, of course. Um, and I really like how bold that line is down the side. I don't usually journal like that, but I really like it. So these two layouts, guys, I use the same five products and look at how different they look. I love it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.